three consecutive defeats in their domestic outings for Jean-Louis Gasset's side and they are injury ravaged as well. Kasper Tinkstedt continuing to get the nod ahead of Arthur Cabral who's on the bench is okay to start at right back he had been a doubt he played 135 times league when they failed to qualify for the knockout stages benfica get us off and underway in lisbon a lovely evening in the portuguese capital and two storied members of european club football society going head to head after disappointing weekends domestically, Benfica disappointed on the European stage to uh, start off with, finishing eight points behind Real Sociedad and Inter in their Champions League group, but Roger Schmidt's side managed to cling on to third place ahead of RB Salzburg to stay in Europe. They have got themselves a corner, which Di Maria will take. Spent a long time with Paris Saint-Germain, puts the ball in dangerously here, and somehow Antonio Silva's denied. Touch around the corner for Tingstead. Now it's David Neres. Neres nearly, Tinkstead does get there, oh lovely stuff, 1-0, what a beautiful goal. Rafa Silva on hand to finish it off after some gorgeous approach work and Benfica strike first. Got the move going, didn't it? Had to reach back for it, didn't he, to collect and then did the rest magnificently. Well, his second goal in the Europa League since Benfica moved into that competition. His uh, other was a vital one as well. The second half strike at Rangers helped them through to the quarterfinals, has got the opening goal of the quarterfinal against Marseille. First yellow card of the evening for David Neres to the uh, figure of Alexander Barr. Nicely done by Rafa Silva. João Neves! Ambitious from that kind of range, but again, that little touch around the corner from Rafa Silva that opens up the space. Space that João Neves. Benfica set to bounce back from the disappointment of that top of the table. Well, after losing at Sporting last weekend, a defeat that left them four points behind in the league, having played a game more and being eliminated by their same city rivals from the Portuguese Cup in the week before. They needed a strong reaction in front of their own fans. In fact, Florentino demanded it. Might be demanding that more players got back to try and block the route to goal for Luis Enrique there. Meanwhile, here's Di Maria, and Marseille might be a bit light at the back now. Di Maria has carried it well and offloaded for David Neres, and there's Di Maria, and there's the second goal for Benfica. And Angel Di Maria is at it again in the Europa League. Say well, while there has popped up with one in the Europa League for Benfica tonight. Very intelligent stuff between Di Maria and Neres out wide. Almost telepathic the way those two combined. And Di Maria was on hand to finish it off. Unahi, that's an intelligent ball, and that's an ambitious effort, if he meant it, Iliman and Jai. Well, there was a gap to go for. 
Is that what he was trying to do? Trubin, I think, had it covered anyway. Di Maria just dropped out of that challenge because I think he knew he was going to commit the foul. Bunahi, that's a good pass. And here is Pierre Emmerich of Babiang. And you knew what was coming next. The Europa League top scorer finds the net in the competition once again to bring Marseille right back into the mix. After another clinical finish from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. That is now ten goals in nine games in the competition for the Gabon striker who is already the all-time Europa League record goalscorer with this number 34 for him. Kiko on the move forwards. Been a great second half showing from Marseille. And that's a great ball in as well. There should have been two each. Amin Ari can't hit the target to come from two down to square it. Has to at least ask a question of Trubin from there. Yang, who has one already, is sizing this up with real menace in his eyes. And Abami Yang, well, for a minute, looked like it might have been drifting in as that Anatoly just seemed to hesitate. And it was because he knew that it wasn't going to trouble him in the end. Bar. Di Maria. Three players for company, and he's put too much on that for Alexander Barr and Benfica's last chance to increase their first leg advantage may well have gone now. Well, a shake it ahead from Roger Schmidt, who would have been delighted with the way his team took control of the game in the first half. And when he scored that second goal, it felt like a case of how many, but that strike from Aubameyang has really turned the complexion of both tonight's affair and the tie as a whole. And Aubameyang's won that flick as well. Soglo. Arit Soglo kept it in. Bunahi has gone for goal and forced the save from Trubin. Well, that would have been quite something, but I think Jean-Louis Gasset will still be a happy man when the full-time whistle goes from Michael Oliver. Well, a bit of frustration from the Benfica supporters. Their team have won tonight, but they feel it should be a healthier advantage that they take to France for the return leg next Thursday. His team lead by two goals to one after the first 90 minutes of the tie. But there will be a tinge of disappointment amongst the home fans.